is pretty much now the rules of films. If Liam Neeson is the main star of a film where he's holding a gun, everyone does not stand a chance. But anyway, we've got the first official trailer for Taken 3. Now I'm not going to lie, when I first heard they were making Taken 3, immediately I was sceptical. I was like, oh, do you really need Taken 3? I mean, they're just trying to milk as much money as they can out of this and make it a series. It should have stayed number one. Taken 2... Eh, we're all right, but obviously no one knew it was Taken One. Taken One was just amazing. Taken Two was in a, but Taken Three I was extremely skeptical about it until I've just watched the trailer and oh, wow, <laughs> this uh, this film I think actually looks pretty good. Uh, the story this time around is basically Liam Neeson or Brian Mills is framed for a murder he did not commit, and to my surprise, it's actually revealed in the trailer that it's actually his ex-wife Lenore, A.K.A. Kim's mum, she actually gets murdered by someone, which I was like, oh, it's a bit rough that, I mean like, going for the family and actually having one of the family members die, that's a bit more hard hitting than like, having them being kidnapped, so already it's got like, the potential emotion there, and then Liam Neeson like, is about to get arrested, and he's just like, boom, 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 just flies out a window, and like, we just get a great montage of Liam Neeson doing what he does best in these kind of films, that's just kicking ass. And that's why I love the first Taken film, because it's Liam Neeson as an older guy kicking ass. Taken 2, not so much. But in this film, well in the trailer for this film, it looks like he's going to be kicking a lot of ass. And that's what I'm looking forward to. So basically it's just like a manhunt. Liam Neeson's like on the run, he's trying to find out who the actual killer was of his ex-wife. And as you can tell by the trailer, they're like, the people who killed his wife are going to go after his daughter. And he's like, sooner or later everyone you love will be dead. Or something like that, and Liam Neeson trying to stop him. Plus, you have Forrest Whitaker, the guy who's like on uh, Liam Neeson's trail trying to stop him, and it's going to be good to see those two sides like just competing and stuff. And there's one bit right at the end of this trailer which I love. Forrest Whitaker's like, you know, if you go after these guys, FBI, CIA, they're going to be all over you and they're going to take you in. And Liam Neeson's like, good luck. Right there, that's just badass Liam Neeson, really. Right, right there. Yeah, Liam Neeson is now a term. I've just coined it right now. But anyway, taking three. After seeing the trailer, I'm actually pretty looking forward to it now because it looks pretty, it looks good. It looks like a good action film and it also looks like a good non-taken film if you know what I mean. But anyway, it looks good, I'm looking forward to it. Liam Neeson, I hope he kicks ass in it and I think it will be better than Taken 2 but it still won't be better than Taken 1. And hopefully the original rating is not a 12A or a PG-13 as it was in America. I hope it's straight to a, like an R rating or a more mature rating. I just want it to be straight up violence and bloody awesomeness in this film. So anyway, have you seen the trailer for Taken 3? If not, I'll put it in the uh, comments below or description below. And when you've seen the trailer, put in the comments below what you thought of it. And to see more videos from me, click right here. <laughs>